Okay, we're doing example 20 and 21 in the differentiation topic. We've just been looking at the idea of differentiating inverse trig functions. So we've done some basic, uh, the basic introduction. What we're going to have a look at in these examples are kind of composite uh, uh, functions where we've got an inside function. We have to use the chain rule in it all. And when it comes to these inverse tan functions, I would suggest, uh, although you can do it, with a kind of informal method, uh, using the chain rule is often a good thing just to help keep a roadmap of what we're doing. So example 20, find the derivative of the function y equals inverse tan of 3 cos x. So we've got the inverse tan of a trig function. Looks a bit complex, but the chain rule uh, in its own right simplifies things. So the chain rule, remember, says that we're going to swap around um, the inside function for a variable we'll call u. So, in other words, we're saying we're, we're going to let u equal uh, 3 cos x, which means that we're left with y equals the inverse tan of u. Okay, now the chain rule, it says, remember, that we want to find dy uh, by dx, but that's our derivative. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to effectively use this related rate of dy by du multiplied by du by dx. So in other words, we need to differentiate both u and y here. Okay, so let's differentiate u. Uh, so we say du with respect to x, because on the right-hand side our function is in terms of x. If we differentiate 3 cos x, we get negative 3 sin x. That's hopefully fairly straightforward. Um, the, the y equals inverse tan of u, well, we just had a look at what that would be. So uh, dy, the derivative of y with respect to u, because our function on the right-hand side is u. Um, and that becomes, we've got this uh, function now, which is uh, 1 plus x squared or 1 plus u squared. doesn't matter if it's u squared plus 1 or 1 plus u squared. I tend to put it uh, second there. Okay, so there's our two derivatives. Now let's see if we've got uh, that in place. So, d so dy by dx is equal to dy by du is first dy by du. So that's 1 over 1 plus u squared. Uh, now the only problem is here that we're, although we've got it in terms of u, we really want to kind of get it back to the fact that u is 3 cos x. Okay. So remember that we do have to substitute back in terms of x multiplied by du by dx, which is negative 3 sin x. Now you could probably, with this one, especially once you're um, getting the hang of these, you could probably just have done that using the informal method. But it's still good just to kind of split it up and get it right in your head. What can we do with the, the denominator there? Not much. We can do 1 plus 9 cos squared x um, multiplied by negative 3 sin x. And all we can do then, I suppose, is put them together. We can't simplify it anymore. So we've got negative 3 sin x all over. I'll put a wee line there. All over uh, one plus nine cos squared x, and that's my derivative dy by dx. Okay, you could do it informally uh, just by saying differentiate the outside function and multiply by the derivative of the inside function, but the chain rule helps us to kind of get it in some kind of um, order, okay? So let's have a look at the second one and that's maybe a wee bit more of an issue. So find the derivative of y equals the inverse tan of x minus one over x plus one, okay? Um, interesting problem. So we're gonna, let's have a look at, we're gonna use the chain rule. So we're seeing here that there's the inside function u. So we're gonna say let u equal x plus x minus one over x plus one which means that our function becomes y equals the inverse tan of u. Okay, 
a bit stressy. Um, so we can differentiate that bit quite easily because we just did that before. Divide by dx. It's a wee reminder that we're going to go with 1 plus u squared. But we need to differentiate this fraction here, du by dx. Okay, so we've got a quotient rule thing going on. Uh, so again, uh, you might have uh, your own way of doing it. Differentiate the top function, which is just 1, um, multiply by, I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Um, so we've got differentiate the top function and multiply it by the second, the, the denominator, subtract write down the first function and multiply by the derivative of the denominator all over uh, the denominator squared. So you, you have maybe your own way of working out the um, quotient rule, but that's our kind of u v dash, or u dash v minus u v dash all over v squared. We can simplify that and say it's just x plus 1 uh, minus x at plus 1, watch that, they're both multiplying by 1, so we, we're kind of discounting that, but watch the fact that that second one's plus uh, over x plus 1 squared. The x terms cancel out, and I get left with 2 over x plus 1 squared. So that's my du by dx. So let's put it all together in the chain rule, the derivative dy by dx says that it's going to be dy by uh, du. Multiply by du by dx. Now dy by du says 1 over 1 plus u squared. 1 over 1 plus, well I have to put in u. multiplied by du by dx, which is 2 over x plus 1 squared. Okay, I'm not quite out of the woods yet because this uh, expression here requires a little bit of uh, looking out for. I'm actually going to take that as a separate um, consideration. So 1, I'm just going to have a look at the denominator here. Okay, how do we deal with that? Um, well, we need to be able to uh, think about the fact that our denominator, common denominator, is going to be x plus 1 squared. So 1, to make that equivalent, is going to have to be x plus 1 squared on the top. So there's my value of 1. On the right-hand side, I've still got x minus 1 squared, which means that if I put them together and expand it, x plus 1 squared is x squared plus 2x plus 1. And I'm adding to the numerator, because this is going to be my big fraction. Over x plus 1 squared. Um, what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, expand the, the bracket here. x squared minus 2x plus 1. And what we're left with, we've got 2x squared. I've got the 2x's cancel out, and I've just got plus 2 over x plus 1 squared. Okay, so that's now this value here. And we know that 1 over any value means that we can just invert it. Okay, so in other words, we can flip the fraction over. So when I go down here, the 2x squared plus 2 uh, over x squared plus 1, the 1 over part means I can just write x plus 1 squared over 2x squared plus 2. Multiply by 2 over x plus 1 squared. We've actually got a common factor there. We can divide through by x plus 1 squared. We've also got a common factor of 2 going on here, but I haven't factorised that yet. So I'll just um, simplify it a little bit. Oops, change the colour. So we've got 2 over 
2x squared plus 2. If I divide through by 2, I get 1 over x squared plus 1, and that is dy by dx, and there's my answer. So there's a lot more algebra uh, to consider. We've got we've got a quotient rule uh, going on, first of all, to get du by dx. We're trying to simplify this denominator, um, and then we finally simplify it. So that's why the chain rule works quite well, rather than trying to do it using an informal method. Okay, So go over that, try it again until you can get it right. Okay, um, That's a really good way to practice this. Uh, you try and do it yourself. Come back to this, see if you've got it right, where you're sticking at, um, and then you can go on and do some more complex uh, differentiation yourself. Okay, hope that's been helpful.